What's up guys, Next Tech here, and as you know, I've jailbroken my iPod Touch 5G, and with jailbreaking comes Cydia, and with Cydia comes tweaks. These tweaks are awesome guys, and that's what this video is gonna be about. Basically, you can change the way the OS does things, you can customize it a lot more than Apple lets you normally. So there's no better place to start here than OXO, and what OXO is, is a redesigned way to look at your multitasking. If I double tap here, you'll see the multitasking window appear, and it looks different to default. Default, you just get the icons and a red X to close. With OXO, you get a full screen preview, a lot like WebOS used to be, and you can see you get the full screen here. It just looks a lot nicer, and I think uh, Apple should actually implement this because it's so good. To swipe these away, you just literally swipe. Instead of pressing an X, it's a lot easier to do. If I swipe left, you can uh, see the music widget with a volume rocker, if you can uh, hit that. works well and if you swipe left again you get quick toggles and you can see you get different rows and you get a brightness slider as well which is nice to see the quick toggles do in fact work you can see here's my torch and there's my torch blinding everyone so yeah if i dive into the settings here guys you can see the uh, options you get to change in oxo you can see basically you just get to change the way that the toggles appear which ones appear and where they appear so that's OXO, it's really cool, you can get it from Cydia. I really enjoy that tweak. Next up guys, we've got a tweak called Zephyr. Again, it's available in the Cydia store, and Zephyr is a gesture-based tweak, and it's really cool. So if I go into Passbook here and I wanna get back to home, you can either press the home button like normal, or you can just swipe up, and you'll see that it just swipes back up to the home screen. It works in any app and you can just see how nicely it works. It functions really, really well. If you do it from the uh, home screen itself, you get your multitasking window just like that. So how nice is that? Also, if you are in an app and you wanna go to your previous app, you can just uh, swipe from left to right and you'll see it seamlessly changes the app. How nice is that? It just works so well, it's so smooth. It's so quick, and if you want to go back to your home screen, you can just do that by swiping up. It's that simple. I really, really like those gestures, and I will be using them a lot because I hate pressing the physical home button sometimes to get to my multitasking. I always think it's going to break or wear out. So that's a good alternative. Next up, we have a tweak to the camera. Now, you just install this, and it installs basically over your camera, and it just gives you more options. I'm just, uh, you can see the focusing ring there is slightly different. I'm not going to actually show you pictures, but basically if you press this uh, toggle down here, you get some more options. You can see you get a time lapse, you get a timer, you can change some other settings. There's loads of different things. You can mess around with the white balance, the stuff that you're not allowed to do normally, stuff that Apple doesn't let you do. If I switch over to the video recorder here, you can see again, you can mess around with the white balance. If I hit the uh, advanced key, you can see, whoops, you can see that you get the custom, you get a custom frame rate option. So you can actually change the frame rate. So you can go down or up. Now, on going up, you can't go up ridiculously. You won't be able to, it just won't. The hardware will limit your available frame rate. So, you know, the maximum probably is 30 on this device. And if you go down, it'll work. If you go up to 60, it just won't record in 60 because it can't handle it. You can see. 1280 by 720p resolution you can click here and you can change it to shoot in 4x3 mode so that is really nice i really enjoy that on the camera i think there's a lot more options and it's nice to have you know these are what the tweaks are about now lastly is something called sb widgets which again you can get from cydia and i've put them on my notification tray so if i swipe down here you can see these quick toggles these are called sb widgets and you can uh, quickly do whatever the hell you want with your device. Power, respring, refresh more. Bluetooth, brightness, these quick toggles do work. You can see you can just click and Bluetooth will appear. These are just really nice to use, I think. And you can see again the uh, Zephyr thing working really nicely there. You pull down the uh, thing to get to your notifications. How nice is that? I really enjoy these tweaks so far, guys. There are hundreds of different tweaks on Cydia. These are just some of the recent ones I've installed. So yeah, hope you enjoy it. See you guys later.